to Acoustic Christmas 2016. Honest interview. Uh, thanks for watching on Facebook Live. Uh, we are commercial free tonight, and I'd love to welcome the boys from Bastille. Hi. Woody, Kyle, Dan, Will. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Excellent set, so I heard from other people that I didn't get to see. Yeah, thanks for watching, mate. I, I was busy. I was working. I'm, I'm like so are we. So I'm slavering yeah. over a hot stage here. I can't. I know. Um, did you have a good time? It was fun. Yeah? It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good. Um, I think it's definitely worth mentioning that uh, Charlie, who, who plays with us uh, on, on stage, he and I have a little thing going where we throw drumsticks to each other. Tonight, we set a brand new record, five, without dropping a single one. Five is Five the throws, yes. What was the previous record? Uh, three. Oh, wow. So you even Smashed upped it. it. Yeah. What? Big, stage, we, big event, you know. And we take our job really seriously. As you, you do. <laughs> you know what, you and Dan's... Okay, so before, when we're waiting in the wings in the band that's going on next, you know, it's the stage is turning in the bands. I usually just don't even make eye contact with the bands because I figure you're in your zone and whatever. And he's like, we don't have hey, a zone. what's going on? I was like, we don't have a zone. We're just like, oh, we're just waiting around. I know. Think about it, it was unsettling. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Don't I you was have to trying do to something? talk to you and you're like, don't talk to me. Don't no, no. Me. I just, I felt like I was interrupting your Were you mojo. in your zone? Is that, is, that, is that what it was? Oh, you were in no, your zone as no, well. No, 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 no. Um, so Wild World, you guys, uh, I know there's multiple themes about crazy business, but I feel like uh, <laughs> your new album was quite prophetic for this 2016. Some of the songs that we sing, they feel way too, way, yes. more, way more relevant than we'd ever have hoped. <laughs> yes. Did you have like some crystal ball when you wrote those? And No, we just had Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> and guess we didn't learn from that because, you know, then we had our election. So yay, everything's great. Um, <laughs> fantastic though I mean uh, that's such great success on this album I watched the video for Good Grief alright here's where I'm going to really nerd out I watched it a lot because I was trying to figure out what phone number you guys were dialing <laughs> <laughs> and I was like are they, this is probably like because first you go through one through nine and then I'm like alright now they're probably just dialing like their favorite pizza place like I don't know what's going on here it's did you speak, actually um, did you speak to a, a kebab shop in South London <laughs> So there was point. no secret code hidden. I know it like changes to a, a you know a, a triangle and all that or pyramid, but no, my, um, no secret my, code. My, my like my bank pin code is in there somewhere. You got to figure <laughs> okay, it out. Okay, you guys, slow down. So all of your YouTube watches. My, that's me. My address is in there. Yes. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to stop. All right. Sounds nice. <laughs> Good to know. Good to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your beautiful uh, ca uh, Capital Studio session. You guys oh, did. Thanks yeah. for watching. That was amazing. Oh, it was so much fun to do. It was so great to see the reinvention of warmth from like kind of the upbeat song that it is to this symphonic. Oh, it's just amazing with the strings. Those like, strings guys are just unbelievable. They're incredible. I guess also the song is like a lot of our songs are quite depressing lyrically, but um, but we sort of, I guess, because of the, the sound that we make as a band, they end up seeming quite upbeat. But it's quite a nice opportunity to strip it back and you know just lay out the full depressingness all out there. And I think that song, Warmth, is really important to us. It's like the main song on the album and it was, it was nice to do it that way. And in an amazing studio. Like I think there's a weird irony to the fact that we make our albums in, literally in a windowless basement in London. <laughs> and then we get to do these acoustic sessions in these beautiful legendary studios. It couldn't be further from the cupboard where we make the actual records. That studio is amazing. There's just pictures of like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin on the walls. Like when you're walking down, it's the most amazing um, room to just descend into. So that's why they're like, don't let the Bastille guys in for longer than <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> don't touch anything. Yeah. That was amazing. Um, you guys are going to be playing Reading and Leeds in yes. 2017. Yes. All right, you guys. I have not been to a European music festival. I go to Europe all the time. I know I'm a loser. I need to to do it so from an audience point of view because i always see those nightmare photos of glastonbury and everybody's up there to their eyeballs yeah. in mud glastonbury is the best festival in the world but it's still the best yeah right? it is because okay. you don't like um because you just wear wellington boots okay i have just, a pair of wellies yeah and then you just style it out you'll be fine okay and also you know what you, you might end up going on one every seven years when it's not muddy and then you'll, you'll luck right out and you'll be i'll be like it's like coachella it's yeah, like well, totally dry here well, but then you haven't really done has to be yeah. unless it's but just it, a mud pit. Also, it won't be like Coachella because people in England don't ever expect to take their clothes off that much, so they don't prepare. <laughs> Unlike in California. So you're saying there's there's not a lot of like escaping going on, and people are uh, you know then a little just embarrassed let it, let it later. All hang out as well. yeah, yeah, just taking it off. It's just a bit more of a pale, fleshy, pasty mess. white. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. no VIP yeah. tent with like <laughs> g-strings. 
like Coachella. Oh my God. You should go to Glastonbury though. It is genuinely incredible. And then between Reading and Leeds, what's like what for an audience member? Like what's the difference? I'm assuming you guys have stood in the audience before you played in. Yeah, yeah, loads. Um, Reading maybe. Better? Okay. Because it's thing is like Glasto. You could literally go there for the entire five days, not see a single band, and have the best time of your life. There's like so much other stuff going on. Okay. Whereas Reading and Leeds is purely about seeing bands and music. Last there's, there's like all manner of things like healing fields and um, yeah, and like it's basically an entire city springs up I for think, a week. I think last would be somewhere between Burning Man and Coachella. Okay. Like it's got a, it's got this whole other. Which I'm cool with, but I can't do Burning Man because no, I'm no. white, like really white girl. It was dust allergies. That's not going to happen. Dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just really looking for a good bathroom at a festival. That's like my number one. That is gold dust. <laughs> That's yeah, on my list. Glasgow is not the one. <laughs> it's, it's weird, like, like Will's often pointed out that it's at festivals, it's the only place in the Western world they allow like third world sanitation. Yeah, it, just literally. If just, you had a restaurant and it had a bathroom that was the same as the toilets in Glastonbury, they wouldn't allow it. And yet you can buy food right next to the toilets at Glastonbury. That's a really good point. Is, but is don't bring him up on it because then are people going to be clamping yeah. down. And once there was a man in the toilet throwing poo back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate, that's horrible. I once, got, <laughs> I, once, I, once got food poison, I once got food poisoning in Mexico and it turns out it's because loads of other people got it too and we all figured out it's because the, the men's toilet was in the kitchen it's a good place of to the put restaurant. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, Space saving good. though. You know. Good times. Yeah. Glad the, the, the restaurants great have chat, involved. Right? Yeah. Woo, good times. I had a great time. I have though. to say I'm a little disappointed though at your outfits tonight because usually... It's like kitten shirts, or you guys had the Barbara Streisand shirts. Oh, yeah. Kind Thing of is, like, um, in fact, feel a little let down tonight. Do you know what, man? What? I, like, uh, I lost my luggage the other day. No, no, no. American Airlines lost your luggage. <laughs> it wasn't me personally. American <laughs> Airlines. Have, you, have they found your luggage? No, not, it's not even. And it's, it's, been, it's, been like two, it's been like two, three days. So and our third album was in that bag. No, don't third, say that. Third don't album was in that. there, all the hard drives, and pictures of us naked, man. Ooh, I wouldn't so give that back. you get your hands on that, you don't even want to give it back to me. I give you your hard drive back, but I keep the pictures. Um, and so, uh, so, and I had all my T-shirts in, and, I, was, and, so, and I had to like go in an emergency shop for these. What kind of t-shirts were in the case then? Oh, dude. Oh, all right. <laughs> it was, I, I don't even know. You I, guys usually bring it is my point. No, I, well, that, that's the I, thing, but like, yeah. like, I don't want to tell you because then, you know, it's what could have been. Yeah, that's true. We're basically yeah. the angle in for an invite back here next year. So right. then we can show you. Hey, you're, you're welcome. I'm totally happy to have that happen. Um, well, you guys, I, uh, are you going to be able to hang out, watch back Green yeah. Day and all that? Yeah, so yeah. We, saw, we, saw, we saw Green Day, Day last, last night. night. Yeah. You're uh, up at the you are uh, up the live 105, uh, my uh, friend's uh, gig and our sister station up there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and they were insane. We all lost our minds. We were just Will like, especially. I, yeah. I I pogoed Did you? high and proud, straight and tall. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's their hometown, so it had to have been an insane show. It was so good. Yeah, yeah they made a lovely speech as well, and it, yeah, it was it was brilliant. All right, so we're gonna have some cocktails and. Um, Roll late, probably. Yeah. I know. What did you say, gin? Gin, yeah. Gin. Oh, all right. <laughs> where's, the, where's the after party tonight? You know where it is. I don't. It's that beige bar <laughs> that we were in last year really late. Oh. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you for watching on Facebook Live. We're going to get uh, some cocktails going. Best deal, everybody. Thank Thanks you for, for playing. Us. It's 2016 Almost Acoustic Christmas.